I grew up in Bradford and the enemy and uh, Melody Maker were my only access to the world of music and and it was so precious when it turned up uh, on a Wednesday you know when I was looking after it I had a mental picture of some poor sap who had a Saturday job in Doncaster and this was their only contact uh, with the outside world of music and that was the person that I wrote it for thing was the enemy filled in a gap that you couldn't hear a lot of the music you wanted. Records were pressed and then deleted a few months later. You couldn't get old records. You filtered people into those that read the enemy, those that read Melody Maker and those that didn't read either, who were people that you just didn't need to waste your time with. For me, the enemy has always survived when there's a popular white guitar group. All the bands would tell you that it didn't matter uh, a jot whether they were featured in the enemy, but you well knew it did. The cool bands would always hate doing an interview and you felt like getting out a spreadsheet saying, do you know how much a page advert costs in this magazine? Because you are getting it for free, you tossers. It was like being on top of the pops, another long gone institution. It was a thing that you did, it was a rite of passage for a band. Anyone in a band who is in a band read The Enemy when they were younger. What was great about The Enemy was it was a conversation, people talking to other artists every week, not just about politics and music, but about everything. The Enemy did die years ago. It's kept going in loads of different forms, it's still out there online. But what it was hasn't existed for a very long time. Everybody knew at some point the paper publication was going to go. You know, I knew that in the years that I was there, you could see it was going to happen at some point. But publishing in that digital space is inevitably just a completely different experience than what the enemy was previously. And in a way, I suppose we all get the music press that we deserve.